I think Jared exemplifies the traits of a Hall of Fame member because, first of all, he was an outstanding athlete. I consider Jared the most famous Highlands graduate of all time. More people know him than I think any of us. As far as the Hall of Fame member is concerned, uh, Jared, not only in basketball, uh, was such a, a great player and a great teammate. He was not worried about how many points he scored. He was more worried about uh, being able to uh, take care of his teammates and uh, being a team player uh, and a competitor in such a great way. And of course, we know he also played football and was Mr. Football in the state of Kentucky. And he was also a, a baseball player for three years at Highland. So, uh, well, I know Jared because I was his high school football coach and I was also the athletic director here when he played baseball, football, and basketball. Now, this is Coach Mesmer, and of course, I was 26 years teaching and coaching basketball at Highlands High School, and I had the fortune of coaching uh, Jared to uh, three regional championships uh, his sophomore, junior, and senior year at Highlands High School, and uh, you know, that was a great accomplishment uh, to be able to repeat uh, that uh, championship and go to Rupp Arena for three straight years in a row. He had just tremendous success. He was Mr. Kentucky football in high school. He holds SEC records in college. He won a Super Bowl in the NFL. And even though he's been such a phenomenal success and so well known, he's such a humble guy. He just uh, was one of a kind as far as his ability to, to rebound and pass the ball to, to Smith or Glazier and uh, uh, he was also a great defender so uh, he had it all and like I said he uh, he wasn't worried about himself he was worried about uh, the team and winning in that regard. But he also understood that it wasn't a matter uh, of national importance it was still something that was to be fun and it was a show so Jared would be third and 10, and he would run a sprint out pass, and there'd be a guy open at 11 yards, and he'd just sort of nod his head and say, nah, that's too boring. I'm throwing that 80-yard touchdown pass. It would be so difficult to find just my one greatest memory, because he is such a joy to be around. I mean, there's so many fun football memories for him. One time he was being tackled and as he's falling forward he throws it underhand downfield for 20 yards to the running back. We played our first game his junior year and we were under center and after the, the next day we lost and he said he wanted to change, wanted to see if we could do some shotgun snaps. And I had never called a shotgun snap in my life and he had had everything prepared on what, how we could do every, of our, every one of our plays in shotgun. I said, well, you know, I can see drop back pass, but how would we do the counter? And he'd say, well, I'd just get it like this and I'd do this. And I'd say, well, we couldn't do the pitch. And he said, well, yeah, we could just do it like this. And he was already ready to do it. He just transformed what we were doing. He was a player, I was a coach, but he was really coaching me. Well, we can look back as far as the number of uh, rebounds, the number of assists, uh, the number of points that he scored in games. Uh, and, of course, he, he had a running mate in uh, Derek Smith, who, of course, uh, was a great player on those teams, along with uh, Eric Glazier. Those three guys uh, were a big part of us uh, going into the uh, state tournament and being runner-up in 97. Uh, and that was a a great team and uh, you know what they did was uh, just totally outstanding and he'd throw the, a basketball like it was a baseball and it, Derek would be there just for a layup I mean it, he was just he just got that sports were supposed to be fun and, and then of course he was able to make it to the uh, the Giants and uh, be a backup quarterback to Eli Manning and uh, be part of a Super Bowl so uh, you know just a tremendous individual and you know, Kentucky fans and Highlands fans just uh, loved him to death.